So today we are going to discuss the causes of cardiac arrhythmias. Basically, we are starting a new series of lecture about our arrhythmias and we are today discussing the causes of cardiac arrhythmias. What are basically arrhythmias? The, card, the heart beats in a specific rhythm. The heart beats in a specific rhythm at a, at a specific rate in a specific time and that rhythm when gets disturbed that is known as arrhythmia. So there are different causes for the arrhythmias like the normal rhythm of the heart it could get disturbed in different ways and what are those different ways <clears throat> so the first cause of the cardiac arrhythmias it is the abnormal rhythmicity of the pacemaker we have previously discussed in detail that as a node the sinoatrial node it behaves like the normal pacemaker of the heart the pace or the speed of the heart beat is basically determined by the sinoatrial node as a node why the sinoatrial node behaves as the pacemaker of the heart why the av node or the purkinje fibers are not acting as the normal pacemaker it is for a reason which we have discussed in very much detail due to the due to the difference in the types of cells that are present in the sinoatrial node and due to the difference of sodium potassium and electrolyte pumps that are present in the sinoatrial node and due to the structure of the sa node and different other conducting pathways this sinoatrial node is behaving or acting as the normal pacemaker of the heart now here is we see we have the heart these are the two atria the right atrium the left atrium and here is the septum between two atria now here we have the right ventricle here is the left ventricle it's the septum between two ventricles the sa node is situated somewhere here and it basically determines the pace of the heart it acts like the normal pacemaker of the heart if some abnormality occurs in the pacemaker it will lead to arrhythmias and that will be the first cause of cardiac arrhythmias so abnormal rhythmicity of the pacemaker it could be one cause of cardiac arrhythmias then second cause could be shift of the pacemaker from the sinus node to another place in the heart now as we discussed as a node sinoatrial node it behaves as the normal pacemaker it sets the tone it determines the rate it determines the speed of the heartbeat but if this pacemaker is get shifted to some other place like the av node here or the purkinje fibers or some other place in the muscle of the heart they become a pacemaker due to some infection or ischemia or any congenital abnormality that could be another cause of cardiac arrhythmia so abnormal rhythmicity of the normal pacemaker or shift of the pacemaker from the normal sinus node to another place or another part of the heart become the pacemaker that could be another cause of cardiac arrhythmias now the third cause of arrhythmias could be blocks at different points in the spread of impulse we know the impulse impulse get generated in the sa node here is the sinoatrial node here is the sinoatrial node this impulse comes through pathways to av node it comes to the av node here it gets delayed and then from the av node it gets transferred through the purkinje fiber into the cardiac muscles now if we have some blocks if we have a block here or if we have block here or if we have a block here these blocks which may occur due to infection ischemia or trauma or any other cause it could lead to abnormal rhythm the rhythm will get disturbed here or get disturbed here or get disturbed here and it will lead to an abnormal rhythm of the heart the heart will not be beating or contracting at a specific normal rhythm now that will be the third cause of cardiac arrhythmias a fourth cause of cardiac arrhythmias will be abnormal pathways of impulse transmission through the heart rate now the normal pathway is starting from the sa node coming through fiber into the av node and then going from the av node 
through the Purkinje fiber into the muscle, heart muscle. If there is an abnormal pathway, for example, here this is the normal pathway. This is if we have an abnormal pathway here. For example, in some conditions like PW uh, Wolf Parkinson WPW Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome WPW Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome, we get some abnormal uh, abnormality of the pathways. If we have we we have a lot of conditions in which we get some abnormal pathway, a pathway which does not normally exist. These pathways can be acquired or it could be congenital. That is another topic. So there are a lot of causes for these abnormal pathways, but the abnormal pathway of impulse transmission, which disturbs the normal pathway, it could come here directly, it could come here directly or whatever. And this will be another cause of cardiac arrhythmias. And finally, <clears throat> spontaneous generation of spurious impulses in almost any part of the heart. Now there will be an impulse which will look like the normal impulse but it will be not be normal impulse that will be known as the spurious impulse. It will be like a fake impulse or abnormal impulse. It will get generated anywhere in the heart due to some reasons. It could again be due to any ischemia or infarction or infection or trauma or any other reasons. So the causes of abnormal rhythm of the heart or the cardiac arrhythmias could be due to abnormal rhythmicity of the normal pacemaker, shift of the pacemaker from the sinus node to another place of the heart. So the, uh, the normal pacemaker shifts get shift to another place then blocks at different points in the spread of the impulse we can get blocks due to similarly abnormal pathways some abnormal pathways are present in the heart and finally spontaneous generation of spu spurious impulses abnormal impulses or fake impulses in the heart so that's all about the causes of cardiac arrhythmias thanks a lot for watching the video